We have reached 2,500 members. I am so excited. Thank you all. I am so lucky to have you guys as members. And today I wanted to show a little bit of appreciation and have a little bit of a celebration. So today what I would like to do is I would like to take a look at the five funniest moments that I have experienced in Prodigy Math. In the comments, be sure to go ahead and leave your favorite funniest moments in prodigy math as our community grows i will be looking at different aspects of prodigy math so make sure you're thinking about your funniest times do you agree with me do you not please let me know if this is your first time here at the channel or you're coming back for more and you haven't subscribed thank you for taking just a couple of seconds subscribing and also liking the video it is so helpful for youtube's algorithm and it makes sure the videos get out it's also helpful for you because you will know when new content comes thank you so much all all right we're gonna go to shiver chill mountains first and so in shiver chill mountains that quest line i thought when bach can't tell the difference between a spoon and a shovel and mixes up the two was absolutely hilarious it reminded me of when i was 10 years old and i just gobbled down every single thing in sight let's go ahead and watch it Okay, find the shovel is what we're doing right now. And is it in our green chest? Ooh, we found a spoon, not a shovel, but we could probably dig in it. Digging in some tomato soup would be better though. Gold coins, 250. Okay, we've got to go back and what let's the? get- This is not a shovel. We better go tell Buck. That's right. Do you want to return to Buck now? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and get to Buck as soon as we can. I think our next bottle will, our battle, we will be looking at some. Does it say shovel is spoon? That means Bach been using real shovel as spoon for weeks. Silly Bach. You tell him. You tell Bach. No laughing slip. Now, if that wasn't great enough, we are going to head on over to Firefly Forest, and we are going to see Flora's reaction to the Sprikes plot. This, I did not think a fairy could react how Flora does, and it is just absolutely hilarious. Let's go ahead and enjoy this one now. Well, that's awesome. Well, what have we here? I've never read my pots to that. Let me read it. Hey, what's it going to say, merchants? Look, it says, big plans happening. Don't tell Flora. Oh, no. Well, it looks like it was written by a Sprike. That <laughs> strange little monsters they are. Okay, so a Sprike wrote a note about not telling Flora some, something. All finished. Let's head back, okay? Yeah, we have to tell her about this. Okay, let's return. Done. Thank you, Flora. All right, we got 200 gold coins. The note says, don't tell Flora. Hey, I'm Flora. I know you are, Flora. So, those sprikes are up to something secret, huh? Defeat a few until they drop some evidence. When I was trying to think of what part of Monfire Spire cracked me up the most, it was tough. Slurpy himself is such a hilarious character, and really all of the people that you meet are just so hilarious. The one that I decided to go ahead and go with, though, was the Royal Banquet. And Slurpy, unfortunately, is not part of that scene, but Queen Gulia and Cebolini were so absolutely hilarious. When Queen Gulia spits out the food because of the raisins, it is just hysterical. Go ahead and enjoy this and let me know what you think. Okay, so we can... Let the royal dinner commence. All right, this is going to be wonderful. Ooh, look at this. It smells divine, Cebellini, as always. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad she likes it. Yes, madame. I leave it to cook. <laughs> let's see, let's see how she likes it. No re 
reaction yet. What is this, Tabellini? Raisins? Ooh. But madame, I assure you. Uh-oh. You have broken the royal rule! No raisins in the queen's dishes! Oh, no. You have left me no choice, Cebellini. You are fired! Oh, we did that. Oh, no. Poor Cebellini. What? Fired? Me? This is an outrage. Oh, man. Sorry, Cebellini. Oh, he is just... Sliming you away. have not heard the last of Chef Cebolini Carpaccio. Sliming away with so much rage. Uh, I think that's our cue to leave. Fast! Shipwreck Shore left me a little puzzled because there weren't really any moments that I said, oh yes, this is the funniest. But Jelly Jim as a character is just... Man, he is out there. And I love Jelly Jim because here you have a jellyfish in a bowl so he can travel around outside of the water and then he's on top of a body that's carrying a barrel and one of the hands is playing paddleboard how do you pedal ball how do you get any more off the wall than that let's go ahead and revisit our first meeting with jelly jim go inside there's jelly jim hopefully he's a dizzy fish I want to find oh, that dizzy hello fish. Hello there. My name's Jelly Jim. What brings you to these parts? Hello, I'm Newt. Pleasure to meet you. So she polite, Newt. She said that the local people saw an ancient monster swimming around Just... here. Do you know anything about that? Now that I think about it, I do recall seeing some sort of large, terrible creature floating Just around. Design. Just the other day, in fact. It looked like it could have been the old sea monster that the evil order of influence used here a long time ago against the pirates. Oh, man. Whatever I saw was close by, no doubt. Oh, it, this does not sound thing. good. Here's some gold to help you on your journey. Best of luck. Thank you, Jelly. And last and certainly not least, we have Skywatch. And in Skywatch, the back and forth between Benny and Broccolina is absolutely hilarious. But I decided to go ahead and go with uh, finding out that Gramps created all of this chaos that your, uh, your avatar went through, that we had to solve all of these problems and figure out all of this stuff because Benny and Broccolina were arguing and it drove Gramps crazy. So that was just such a plot twist, and it's like, whoa, what's going on here? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a quick little flashback back to that. Loving these sand dollars. Hi now, a wizard are you? Pleasure to meet ya. Thank you, it's a pleasure to meet you too. The name is Eugene Grant, otherwise known as the All-Powerful Cloudmaster. Hello. Oh, uh. Hello, All-Powerful Cloudmaster. Cloudmaster General. That's right, Cloudmaster General. So, I bet them clouds have my grandkids running wild, huh? Yes, they do. Every time those two scamps get arguing, I send out my clouds. Thing is, they never realize it's me what does it. <laughs> Pretty tricky. Tell Benny to give you the master key. It's time for the finale of my little prank. For uh, our armor. You want the key, Benny? See, we had the key, but uh, we uh, broke it. Oh no, you guys. I'm pretty sure the pieces are around here somewhere. So these are my top five most hilarious moments in Prodigy Math. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you would think. Thank you so much for the 2,500 subscribers. Let's get it up to... 3,000 is super soon, okay? Uh, keep on prodiging on. Thank you for the likes. Please keep on like liking my videos. And if you're just wandering in, discovering me, thank you so much for the subscribe. Have a good one. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.